Welcome everyone to this Let's Play of Kerbal Space Program Beta Than Ever. This is episode 18. But in the last episode, one of my viewers, Lilith von Fraumensch, asked whether KOS could deliver telemetry which would help her launch SSTOs. Well, the good news is, it can. So let's pop over to the space plane hangar and build a small plane that will allow us to demonstrate it. Everyone should know by now my love of space planes. Or not. So rather than uh, have you watch me painfully assemble this little jet, here's one I did earlier. We have a Mark I cockpit for Jeb to take the controls. We have our scriptable control system, SAS, fuel and a basic jet engine. So that's not going to get us into space, but it'll do for the purpose of our demonstration. We mustn't forget our air intakes. We're using the AVR8 winglets for wings and also for the tailplane. We have uh, three small gear bays arranged so that the nose will be slightly up when we stand our plane on the runway. So I suggest we pop outside and start looking at our telemetry. Unfortunately for us, the uh, pitch, yaw and roll properties of our craft aren't exactly intuitive because they actually refer to the roll around X, Y and Z axes which are fixed in your Kerbal Space Program universe, not relative to your craft. Your ship moves relative to those axes. Fortunately, you can draw those axes, and we'll have a look at this script in a minute. But let's first look at our axes and just see exactly where they point. Now, as we can see here, they're not exactly perpendicular to your craft. The x-axis is going down into the ground. The z-axis is going back behind us. And our y-axis is coming out of our left-hand side of our craft there. Now these are fixed in space and as you fly your craft yaws and rolls and pitches relative to these axes. And of course we'd like to know our pitch above the horizon for flying a plane. Fortunately for us there are two other properties we can use. Now those are the north and up commands, the uh, north and up axes. And if we draw those on, you can see they are actually much more useful. The north one here in this rather, rather nice pink colour always points north. And as we've seen before, the up axis here in yellow always points up. And so we can use this axis for determining our pitch. And we can use this axis for determining our compass heading. So we have a little bit of calculation to do, but at least it is possible. But how do we know which way our ship is facing? Well, fortunately, there's an app for that. Or in this case, there's a script for that. This script, which I'll show you in a moment, shows which way your ship is facing. So subtracting this pitch, or angle here, will allow us to calculate our pitch above the horizon. So let's just go and have a look at those scripts and just see exactly how they work. Look at the first of our scripts, it contains just three lines. We create three objects labelled X, Y and Z axis and they are set to a VEC draw args object. And this takes a number of arguments. The first is a vector using the V function which specifies the origin of your line, in this case naught, 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 in other words, the centre of our scriptable control system. We then have a vector that represents the end of our line, in this case a vector going out on the X, the Y and the Z axis. We then need a colour, so red, blue and green lines using the RGB function to create a colour object. The next argument is a label for the axis, X, Y and Z axis, you can put anything in there. The penultimate parameter is a scale for the axis and you can use this to enlarge the line that's drawn by a factor of, in this case, 5. And the final argument is whether you want to show 
the line immediately. In this case, true, so the line will be drawn the moment the variable is created. And we do that once for each of the axes that we want to display. So this displays the x, y, and z axis as we saw. The up script is very much the same. We have a variable for the up and the north axis. We use the origin of our scriptable control system as the origin of the line we want to draw. We get the vector that represents up or north as property of those two predefined objects up and north. And then we give them a color, a label, a slightly longer scale, and again we want them to be displayed immediately. Now the facing axis that we drew for our ship is just very slightly different. We create yet another object, origins on the center of our scriptable control system, but then we find the facing vector of our ship. So we go to the ship object, the facing property, and the vector for the facing property. We give it that bluish color, we give it a label, a factor of 10 as the length of the line, and again we'd like to display that line immediately. And that's how we display all of those different axes on the, uh, the gameplay area within the game, which could be excellent for debugging and would be excellent, obviously, for helping you line up to craft, for example. But let's get back to the game now and see how we can start using our telemetry to actually calculate our pitch and do something useful. Back out on the runway I have a slightly modified version of my telemetry. It's now drawing out my pitch. And if we look at our craft, yes we are slightly pitched up. So a pitch of 6.47 is probably correct. So uh, let's get into the air and see if this really does work. So get the brakes off. Let Jeb uh, try and get this thing into the air without crashing. Pitch up. And we're away. So there we go, pitch of 30 degrees, looks about right. Check on the nav ball, yep, yeah, looks about right. Let's see, uh, go up to 45. There we go, 45. Bring that uh, down here so we can see it. If we go up to, what's that, 70. And then really give it a test and go straight up. There we are, almost 90. Back to about 30, there we go. 29. Now, pretty much on the horizon down to zero. So I think a few seconds just to have a quick look at this uh, new telemetry script and I think we're done. We can see the key line that we were talking about in the previous segment here at the top. We're going to lock a variable called a pitch to this expression. So this expression will be constantly updated as we fly. The key part is this little bit in the middle, where we get the angle between two vectors, that is the ship's facing vector and the up vector. In other words, the angle between the top of the sky and the plane. And in order to get the pitch above the horizon, we subtract that from 90. And this is the value we are printing down here, rounded to two decimal places at line 8 on the screen. Now while my basic jet isn't going to get into space, hopefully Lilith, this will help you use KOS to launch SSTOs. So with that said, I'd like to thank you for watching. I hope you found this interesting. Take care. Bye bye.